Well, there it is. Hey guys, you might well uh, you might recognize this car. This is what we did the valve cover on and a whole bunch of other things. Um, but today we're gonna try and do the AC condenser. And uh, I haven't done it on this vehicle before, so we're just gonna start ripping stuff apart until it falls out. I think what I'm gonna try to do is uh, remove the core support because I don't want to remove the radiator. I don't want to empty coolant and then that's just going to cost more money. So we're going to see if we can remove the headlights and the fan and brackets and stuff and then the main core support. And then uh, hopefully it'll slide right out of there and we've got the new condenser to go in here. And we've got a whole seal kit in this box. Yeah. There it is new caps, seals, um, valves, that's an expansion valve, I have no idea where that goes yet, receiver dryer, and uh, and that's it, everything, almost everything except for the condenser itself. But we know it ran, uh, the AC did work until someone put a hole through the top of the condenser. Someone put too long a screw in here and it punctured it. So we're gonna give it a whole once over. Let's get to it. So I've got everything off, the front end, the headlights, and the fan. It's pretty simple. Everything was a 10 or a 12. The middle bracket is something you're going to want to take off first. This and the middle bracket so you can get the fan out. But, you know, I don't know how much of this was even necessary. It looks like this is not going to come off. It's actually, that bolt is just for the fender. This is spot welded to the body. So, which means it's going to have to go that way, which means this is going to have to go forward. Um, so maybe all we have to do is just this side, get the headlight out, the grill and headlight, so we could get this receiver off. So it'll make sliding the condenser out of this easier. We could have gotten to this bolt without removing anything right through the grill. But since I haven't done this particular car before, it seemed just as easy to get everything out of my way so I know what I'm dealing with. A couple things I want to show you about the removal of these lights. Um, they're a little tricky for me being the first time. There's just this one Phillips screw on top that was holding in the corner light. And you just got to get your fingers in like you saw me do and wiggle back and forth as you're pulling pretty hard because you're just pulling these tabs out of their pockets. And this one was really hard to get out. Uh, but I managed to do both sides without breaking anything. 
And these headlights took a second to figure out too. After you undo this bolt, and after you remove this, has to be removed to get to these side bolts. Uh, then you just, there's a, slides into a clip on the bottom. So now we can get an up close look at these clips. And they actually don't slide to the center. They sit in this pocket right there. So the headlight needs to come out of here and then slid to the center first. Fan does something similar. You gotta remove the latch first, then this horn and bracket to get it out of your way. But once the bracket comes off, then you, this, the fan can slide towards the center from right there and right there. Pull the plastic pins out first, then it slides out towards the center. So you come right down in here, and that's a 10 mil bolt. And this has no pressure because a screw went through the top. So hopefully we won't get blinded today. I'll use, let the camera do the dirty work and I'll stand back. I thought the AC system in my truck was empty when I went and took the sensor off the back once and it was not. That sensor hit me right between the eyes along with a bunch of Freon. Yeah, okay, well there's one no ring we'll replace. Okay, so the new one does not come with any of the tubing. So we're gonna have to reuse all of the tubing. So it's easiest probably just to leave this, unbolt it here and leave that there. Unbolt this one first for this pipe and then get the receiver out, then undo this. I think ideally it would be nice to assemble this outside of the vehicle, but again, I'm trying not to remove the radiator. This is a 19, let's hope it comes loose. Two O rings there, then reach, because I got to come underneath you. Push hard. Oh, that's a hard push. Yeah, no. Right there. Now you got to move your palms. Push a little harder. I'm trying. Uh, just keep holding it. You got to keep holding it. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Give me more. Push. Uh, hey, Dad. Hold on. Uh, yeah. What? Help a brother out here. This is going to knock on his knees. Not out of bounds. Come on. There we go. I lube these up in silicone first so they'd fall right out just like that. We'll put it right there. We'll take this one. Put it right there. You need to put it back in there? Yep. Oh, See, that's what happens. You take out old parts, you gotta put in the new ones. Oh, you're putting in the new one. I thought you were putting the same one back in there. No. Fix it that fast? But what? Just for the record, there is... Where is it? I need my hand. Two series dents right there in those two. Hold it there. It won't go.
trying. Okay, new ones in. Let's get uh, the O rings replaced. from the kit. I think this is uh, just a universal O-rings. I'm pretty sure we won't go through all of those. It's got a part number all on its own. Um, but those are both on. I just actually, I need to tighten this. Hope that's tight enough. Now we're gonna do these hoses right here for the larger O-rings. this out that yellowing around there could have been signs of a leak um, so it's a good thing we are replacing those seals after all now both hoses have new seals on both ends so we can get them put in Set that on there like so. Okay, we'll let this side hang free a little bit because this goes in front, but I think the other hose has to cross through there first. Okay, that one's in. Now we've got to do this O-ring right here. Where is it? Right here. And so far it looks like there are three different sizes. Take the plastic out, there's plastic there.
like that. There's the, oh, I forgot to plug them in. So that's in. The only thing you got to look out for is this bar, this support bar for the bumper or the brace or whatever. But I just moved it out of my way as I needed. The plastic tabs will go back in on the left side of the fan. And then uh, we can put the center support in. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, we're going to get a third dog, it sounds like. It's actually one of uh, my dogs, Tonka the German Shepherd. It's actually one of his offspring. So it's a female German Shepherd. It's coming back to us because the owners are changing their living situation, they can't have a dog or where, where they're going. Well, hopefully that's straight. Horns on. Grills on, headlights are in, and um, we just got to replace the valves over here. Next, we're gonna pull this valve out. 
And of course. Okay, I gotta get another one. Alright, I got one out, one in. And I got this tool. Now what do I do with the tool? Yeah, there's the guy. Take this one out. Drop a new one in. That was weird. That was pretty fancy. New caps. Which ones? I think it's these small ones. The small one goes on the low side. The big one should be on the high side. Well, they got these. Maybe just use the original caps. I don't know. Let's use these blue ones. Let's see if they work. L and no. Okay, these big brown guys. That's the one, big brown guys. Huh. Wait a minute. I think. Hell. You don't want H. No, I know, but I thought because they were colored, those were the pairs. But that's not the case at all. And that doesn't thread on either. The light blue L, what other? This one's not marked, but that's low side. Okay. Hot. No, I don't think that's what the stands for. It stands for high. There we go. Well, it's also going to be hot too if it's running. <laughs> right. Hmm. And then that's going to be your cold. I think I just want to use the originals. I don't like these mismatched and not marked. That's how it should be. Oh, those have O-rings in them. Okay, I can replace those O-rings. Let's do that real quick. All right, so to back this out, we're gonna have to remove this nut right here. So Mike says that the expansion valve is on the evaporator inside. We're only halfway done. I gotta tear everything apart inside. Yep, there's one O-ring. Let's replace that one and the other one. And there's the new O-rings. But before I plug them back in, we're gonna go inside and see if that's where the expansion valve is. See if we can replace that since it came with the kit. So there was one O-ring in the entire kit that was this size. And that's for that sensor right there. I saw that and thought, yeah, there's probably an O-ring there, I should replace it. And sure enough, they included it, but it was the only one. It took me a second to dig through all those to find it. But that too will be replaced. 
All right, after a lot of work, removing a lot of screws, we got the um, evaporator out. There's the top half of the box, or this is actually the bottom half of the box. And that's the vent tube that always drips water. Mike's got the heater core over here. So I'm glad we took it out because actually this gives us a chance to clean all this crap out of it. And then right there is our expansion valve. That's what we got in here to do was replace this guy. So, uh, and man, cleaning this out will be so much nicer too. Alright, so here's the new expansion valve. I put the new O-rings in it. Blew the air hose through her um, evaporator there. Clean out all the crap in her box there. And uh, it's going to go back yeah. together nice and neat and clean and have better airflow. So let's... There was a lot of rust on the old uh, expansion valve. It leads me to believe there was a leak there. And then I showed you guys the leak other where, over there behind the headlight. So it's a good thing we're doing all of this right now anyway. You got the expansion valves in. Sitting in the top half of the box, I think it was just your air sensor, everything's in place, so this will slide on now, I think. JDM. I wonder if American made was totally different design. Huh. No. Boom. Okay, we'll throw the screws back in it and get it back up under the dash real quick. And there it is, all back together. It's in there. Um, I did have to take the dash out. And then there's like a bunch of bolts and nuts and screws. And just take out everything you see. Well, pretty much everyone you see, take it out. These lines are back on and tight, so is the sensor. Mike's repositioning some stuff so they're safe. And, um, well, I think that's going to be it for this video. We did the condenser, the receiver dryer in the front of it, the expansion valve in the in the evaporator under the dash and then we did all the o-rings everyone that we could find we did them all so uh, which was a good thing because there did look like we found a couple evidence a couple spots where there was evidence of leaking so hopefully she'll be good to go it is late tonight on a sunday so we're not going to be able to get this uh filled up with freon today but maybe tomorrow she'll be able to come back by and take care of it um, but for now, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I got that. <laughs> that was great. No, not yet. Yeah.